Hey everybody, welcome to the November of 2022 Patreon Q&A. If you'd like to join my Patreon and help support this channel, then please do that. Links in the description, a bit of information is down here, but you actually get videos a lot more ahead than three days. <laughs> uh, huge thanks to my patrons for their support as always. This month we're doing Would You Rather questions. We have not read these. I printed them off without reading them, so I do hope they're okay. <laughs> I'm going to read the first one. Gary Musset. Hello Spicy and Reno. I uh, hope you are both well. Spicy, any plans, updates for the 2023 calendar? There isn't one. Um, as I've talked about, I'm sure I talked about this in the last uh, video. I think you did, yeah. Because of some changes that were supposed to happen in September and then were supposed to happen in November and then were supposed to happen in December, we've been putting so much stuff off and I thought I wouldn't have a setup or a PC or anything at the time to sell them. And as it turned out, I probably would have done, which is not good. Let's just say that. And you've added Hope Mother Spice is doing okay. Uh, she has literally got out of hospital today. Yeah, she was in for a couple of weeks and that was long, a lot longer than we were expecting. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is for Reno. Any plans for YouTube videos, vlogs, or dual vlogs with Spicy in 2023, either on or off motorcycle, motorbike? Um, your fans eagerly await your content. <laughs> Time uh, constraints permits, permitting, obviously. Wishing you both a great festive period and a successful and happy 2023. Thank you, Gary. Um, yes, I would love to get back into everything, but it's just trying to organise myself so that I can actually do it. <laughs> Plus, I need to get back on my bike, which I'm hoping I'll be doing sort of next year, 2023. And I don't want to start vlogging immediately on my bike when I've only just started riding it, because as you know, I've not ridden it for ages. So I need to practice first before any of that. Um, plus, when you move into your new office, this will become my office. So hopefully I'll have more space and I can do things, but we'll see. And thank you. Uh, next question is from Paul Jacks, or Jakes, I think it is. Uh, would you rather buy tyres that are more expensive but grippier or cheaper tyres that are less grippy, not dangerously so, um, price or performance? I don't know why we have to choose between the two. I will always choose the middle ground. <laughs> there are some plenty of tyres out there which are grippy enough and you get reasonable miles yeah. out of them. If I can get five or 6,000 miles out of a set of tyres, maybe a little bit more if I could. I'm relatively happy with that. Uh, I also have two bikes, so I even the wear out between the two. <laughs> but then like Reno uses um, Michelin Pilot 5s. Po no, are they, are they Pilot 5s? Uh Yes. They're the road fives, they're the ones, that's which it. is a good all-round tyre, which, you know, that's kind of the, the obvious solution to that choice is to have a multi-compound tyre and hopefully it won't be so bad. Anyway, Hippodrones. Hey, Reno Espas. Would you rather be on the moon with a moon buggy to vlog from or under the sea with a rideable torpedo to vlog from? Oh, yes. I would rather go with the torpedo under yes. the sea because you can see the fishes yes, and the creatures. and the shrimpies. And on the moon, you're just going to go... This is a rock. This is a this rock. This is also a rock. This is the This moon. is also a rock. I want to be under the sea. Would you rather your Mars bar came from the fridge or room temperature? Um, I think just above fridge temperature. So it's still crisp, sort of like firm, but not rock hard. For me, having a refrigerated Mars bar cut up into little pieces takes me back to my childhood because my grandma used to do that, that you know, That's quite, Yeah, okay. But then they kind of warm up in your mouth as a yeah, little bite. Yeah, they do, yeah. And the last one is, would you rather or rather you would? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah, no. I don't know. Avocado says, all hail the talking sky god. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, would you rather spend the rest of your life going Mac Jesus? <laughs> Or spend the rest of your life being stuck behind pensioners doing drastically under the speed limit with no way to get past them. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with <laughs> behind the pensioner. I just won't live going well, Mac yeah, Jesus everywhere true. because what you're going to do is then go into the side of a pensioner going two miles an hour. Yeah, actually, that makes sense. Plus, at least you can enjoy the scenery, I guess. That's true. Yes, you can see all the creatures. Maybe that's why I'm so slow. Generic. Henlo, insert funny play on Spicy and Reno here. <laughs> Spinoisi, would you rather have to have a sidecar on your motorbike at all times or have a trailer on your bikes at all times? 
Uh, I would yeah. rather neither, if yeah. I'm completely honest, but I guess I would rather have mm. a sidecar because trailers kind of freak me out, the whole idea of them. Yeah, I was thinking the same. I thought, mm, sidecar's going to be wider, but a trailer is going to go forward and back and everywhere and be annoying. Plus, you can still put stuff in the sidecar. Uh, Samuel Burry says, hey, would you rather end world hunger or stop crime? Stop crime, because then a lot of people who would have got their food will Ooh. get their food and then there won't be so much world hunger, yes. i.e. several countries where people from the government steal all the stuff yeah. that we send them and they don't give it to the people. Ghosty, hey, spicy. <laughs> would you rather be requeast multiple times per COD match or always be stuck in a 1v1 vs a randomly selected member of the Discord every time you played. Well, <laughs> Ghosty, as you are, a, are a very much aware that both of those things happen at the same time. I think I can deal with being requeast because of how many times I get requeast. And if you're wondering why or what we are talking about by request, you can check Urban Dictionary. It has been added. There is an old meme that goes along with it. And also, if you'll play COD, come and join us and get request. A crazy chicken says, if you could only have one meal for every meal of the day for the next five years, I think I know what your answer is going to be. What would you choose? I would choose burger, chips and salad. If I can only have one meal for every day... <laughs> I know what this is going to be. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Don't look. Don't look. My eyes are closed. I cannot see. I could also take my glasses off and then I still won't be able to see. Okay. Ready? Yes. Right, my prediction? Yes. It's going to be a Tesco meal deal because you have eaten that every single day for the past five years. <laughs> Focus. Tesco's meal deal. Ham cheese roll, large can of Red Bull, and a pepperoni yeah. has fueled me for... For ages. Well, I don't eat breakfast or lunch. I just eat that at about, you know, middle of the morning, and that does me until dinner time. So, and it's value for goddamn money. <laughs> All right, the last one is for me. Right, Jaco the Neko. Always Neko. No, Jake the Neko. Hey, Sprino, would you rather work a job you enjoy but get paid less than it deserves or would you or work a job you would don't like and be paid more than it deserves also first time remembering that i can ask a question in the q a <laughs> yes of course patrons yes. you can come and ask questions in the q a you just go to the patron go to the post that's there from the previous month or this month you know and it'll say it'll be december's next time so the christmas q a and leave your question there um answer to that is i would rather do a <laughs> do a job that i like and get paid what i deserve Ooh, yeah Definitely. Unfortunately, I do YouTube, <laughs> which means I do the first one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as you were reading it. <laughs> the irony of when, like, her channel, which has got, like, 15 people running it, and they're like, we've made 800 videos over the past 10 years, and I'm like, I'm one dude, and I made 2,000. Exactly. And I got paid about 2,000th the amount. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, is a, that is an ever, ever-present problem. Do I continue doing this or do I make money? <laughs> or do I do what most people do, which is make their patron a lot more expensive? And that's not something I'm about to do because the entire point of this channel is supposed to be open and free to all, but at the same time have the audience support it in a way that people can do. Uh, but currently we have about 300 and something patrons. It may be less at this point. Last time I looked, it was about, it was under 300 and that terrified me because it used to be 380. I understand all the problems that are going on, but seriously, if you can help support this channel, pound a month i would really appreciate it anyway that is it for this month's would you rathers i cannot believe that i could actually read all of them and put them on youtube and not get in trouble um <laughs> that's true actually yeah. pretty amazing to be honest kind of disappointed i feel like you do better next time yeah, step up your game <laughs> right until december's one where we'll be the christmas q a uh where we maybe i don't know i may be mildly drunk or not yeah we can do an evening one or something but yeah yes. uh that's not a guarantee but Get your questions in when I put the post up after this video goes to Patreon. Bye. Bye.